What's up guys, Tim from Everyday Tactical Vids and today we're looking at this product that comes to us from Uncle Mike's and this is what they're calling a cartridge belt and it's actually a shotgun shell belt. Uh, very easy to figure out how to use it, I'll just show you real quick. Got your snap buckle here, basically pull this guy back. I'm going to pull out the two inch very sturdy webbing uh, and then what you're going to want to do is on the back side of this guy adjust your um, belt so the size is correct. And then what you do have here is this extra loop, which, you know, once you get it properly adjusted, you could slide this guy over to make sure it fits properly. Um, this guy does hold up to uh, 50, or I'm sorry, up to 25 different shotgun shells, as you can see. And uh, there's nothing too fantastic about it as far as the design. You're gonna, this is going to bring you about 20 bucks, relatively simple to find. And uh, the reason I got a hold of one of these guys was I was looking at a variety of different... Uh, Belt, some made by, let me just back this up a little bit here, some made by Blackhawk, um, a couple other companies out there that make these, and um, I saw this at a local store, so I, I wanted to use it. I've been looking at bandoliers, I've got a Blackhawk um, shotgun shell sling, and uh, that guy's good, I do have a couple issues with it, I'll talk about that in the future, uh, probably in another review, but I wanted something that I could just boom, throw on, and then go out and be ready to, uh, ready to shoot, so this is what I'm going to try out. Um, I do like some of those... I showed you the Condor uh, shell holder in one of my other videos and also your stand standard um, you know, caddy that you put on a belt. I'm looking for something that I can throw on quickly and be ready to go. So that's why I picked up one of these guys. We'll review it and see how that works. And uh, so let's take it out to the range and we'll load it, load it up there. Uh, first thing I want to do is just show you a real, real quick shot of what it looks like with some uh, shells in there. And I'm going to use the um, snap caps that I have, the dummy rounds, just to show you what it looks like to actually fit some of the shells inside. And then we'll take it out to the range and test it out. Here's what it looks like to put some dummy rounds into the actual belt. I've got two different kinds here. Uh, the snap caps on the end here are metal and they went through much easier than these guys which are all plastic and they kind of have a rough edge. You can see on the back here that the material I mean, it's solid, solid webbing, so putting a shell in it could get caught a little bit as you uh, actually slide it into the shell retainers on the belt. As is true for most um, shell holders, putting the shells in is going to be harder than taking the shells out. So uh, you can fit 25 rounds on here for me. I'll load this guy up out at the range, use it, and then, you know, pull back, let somebody else be shooting while I'm reloading for a while. So... Um, let's get out on the range and test and see what it looks like and then kind of give a final rundown of what we think of this Uncle Mike's shotgun shell holding belt. Alright guys, talking about the Uncle Mike's uh, shotgun shell belt here. As you can see, I've got it set up so the buckle is right in the front now. Um, pluses and minuses that. Obviously the buckle is on the front so I can take it on and off quickly. Um, but it does put the shells here. I haven't filled this kind of back side of it. Uh, but what I would generally do is put it on and then swing it around a little bit. So I've kind of got the shells in an easy access point. So as I've got, you know, I've, I've racked my shotgun, I want to reach down. I'm not going like this to try and get them. Adjust the belt and swing it as it goes. My main concern when I got this was that as I'm trying to get shells out, is the belt doing this, like riding up on me? Is it coming up as I'm trying to pull a shell out and I can't get it out? Thus far, it's been good. As you can see, it's not super snug. Um, but it's been pretty easy to actually remove the shell and then put it in the gun and then shoot. All right, I got one in the uh, chamber now. I'll shoot that, clear it, combat reload, shoot it, clear it, combat reload, and we'll just talk about that. All right, range is hot. Felt good, pretty easy. Notice, no gloves on right now. As you can see from my breath, it's chilly. So I don't know if I'd want to do this for a long time, but that felt pretty easy. No issues with bumping into other uh, other shells. And I did it basically by feel. I wasn't, I don't, what I don't want to do is start pulling, as you can see, like this one, and then this one, and then going back. I really want to work one to the next to the next. All right, we're back here in the studio. I want to give you a couple final updates on the Uncle Mike shotgun shell belt. First thing I'll note is that the elastic does stretch as you put shells in and take them out. So that's actually good. It's easier to, to load the, um, the belt after you're, you know, you're done using the shells. One thing I will kind of caution or just warn you about is since I use these front uh, elastic sections the most, these ones in the back are going to be a little bit more snug. So you're going to want to make sure you're at least putting shells in the back ones to loosen them up so that you don't have like you know, ones that are easy to get shells in and out of and ones that are really hard to get shells in and out of. So um, overall, taking the shells out, even when the belt was brand new, was no problem at all. So 
uh, was quite happy with it. My other main concern was that as I was using the belt, you know, I'm trying to pull a shell out that the whole belt would be riding up on me. No problem with that whatsoever. It stayed right in place. And you got the buckle here, as you can see, and then inside you got lots of different adjustment options so you can make it much more snug if you want to do that. So I got this guy um, up at this place called the Kittery Trading Post. Got a little sunlight sneaking in there. There you go, Kittery Trading Post up in, uh, up in Maine. And um, 20 bucks, good deal. Like I said, there are other options out there. Uh, I've been quite happy with this guy and we'll continue to use it in the future and give you updates. If there are any issues with it, I'll certainly let you know. But at this point, quite happy with this guy. Great to have this and uh, I'll be using it um, as a main option for carrying shells when I'm out there at the range. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. As always, I encourage you to like, subscribe, and uh, check back for more videos soon. Take care.